God lives outside time, you understand? So because God lives outside time, He's in charge of time. He can manipulate time. He can change time. And God, God put the cross outside time. That's why God can reach out to all your sins. You never live until after Jesus died. All of us here, we are future people, right now. After, after Jesus died. There are many who, 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 from the time of Adam until Jesus died, and after Jesus died, all those who will come to the very last man, only God knows who is it. All right, God saw everyone, and God took all their sins, and God put it on Jesus Christ. Outside time. The cross is outside time. His son is outside time. And Jesus paid for all those who died before him, and uh, all those who would live after him, all their sins. And when God says uh, in says, uh, Colossians chapter 2, God quickened you with Christ, having forgiven you all trespasses when God says God forgive you all it does not mean from the day of 1980 when when you were born into this world until 1998 uh, you were born again God forgave all your this this part of your sins your past sins we think of all sins as our 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 life from the day we were born until the day we receive Jesus from then on all right our sins are forgiven as we go as we confess we must catch them one by one. No, when God says all, it's outside time. God saw your sins from the day you were born until the day you meet Him face to face. And God took all your sins and your sins did not escape. Don't think for one moment we receive grace because God says, I, uh, boys are boys, like, let's sweep everything under the carpet. No, no, no. Not a single sin in your life and my life escaped. We are forgiven because our sins were judged but in the body of the divine substitute at the cross Amen. hallelujah and when he died on that cross all your sins of the future tomorrow's sins next month's sins next year's sins five years from now ten years from now until you see Jesus face to face he's all forgiven now the natural propensity of the flesh is to say well if you preach like this then people will say you know uh, like this I can go and sin and uh, I'm forgiven already this is the reasoning of the flesh last week we saw what Jesus said to the Pharisee about the woman who wept at his feet, who was a prostitute. She wept much, she loved Jesus much because she was forgiven much. Then Jesus says, those who love him little, they are forgiven little. This woman loved me much because she's forgiven much. If we had preached the truth, people would end up loving Jesus much. Because we are declared righteous. Justification means we are declared righteous. Because you and I are declared righteous, God raised Jesus from the dead. Now, many people think, God raised Jesus because He's God's Son. No, He is God's Son, always, always has been, and still is. But God didn't raise Him because of that. God raised Him because on account of God declaring all of us righteous. The idea here, listen carefully, this is amazing. The idea here is that if we were not declared righteous, if one sin was left unjudged, and you and I are not declared righteous, Jesus would not have been raised from the dead. Wow. That is what the Bible is saying very clearly. Do you understand now why resurrection is so important? It's a divine receipt. In 1 Corinthians 15, it says, if Christ, if Christ is not risen, your faith is futile. You are still in your sins. So the resurrection of Jesus Christ, people, listen, the resurrection of Jesus Christ is God's divine receipt that you have been totally cleared. It is God, God given declaration and proof that all your sins, past, present, future, have been fully forgiven and you've been cleared of all sin debt. To sort of summarize all that I'm saying today, you must allow that, not, not take everything as theory in your head, but literally, if you are not guilty, you are declared righteous. And the proof is Jesus rose from the dead. That means He will never die again. You can never become unrighteous again. You may sin. I didn't say you are beyond sin. You may sin, but you'll never change your status. Just like once upon a time, you were a sinner. Once of all, you did good, but it never made you righteous. You're still a sinner. Now, it's the opposite. Praise God. Hallelujah. Now, you are righteous and righteous forever. You may still sin here and there, but you'll never change your position before God. What a glorious salvation. And what a cost. A broken heart was what they 
brought down from the cross. Amen. What a price he paid. What a price he paid.